Welcome to DMV exam practice test. Our topic today is CA signs and situations. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for more courses and free practice tests. Number 1. What must you do at a solid yellow traffic signal? A. Stop if it is safe, the signal will soon turn red. B. Speed up to get through before the signal turns red. C. Drive with caution as there may be a hazard ahead. D. Stop, yield, and proceed when safe. The correct answer is A. Stop, if it is safe, the signal will soon turn red. Explanation. A solid yellow traffic signal warns drivers that the signal is about to turn red. You should stop here if it is safe to do so. Number 2. You see a traffic signal displaying a flashing yellow arrow. What can you do here? A. You can turn left freely here. B. You can turn left or proceed forward here. C. You can turn left, but you must yield to other cars that enter the intersection. D. The traffic signal is out of order. Treat it like a stop sign. The correct answer is C. You can turn left, but you must yield to other cars that enter the intersection. Explanation. You can turn in the direction of a flashing yellow arrow. However, it is not a protected turn. You must yield to other traffic that may enter the intersection. Number 3. Who has the right of way here? A. Car A. B. Car C. C. The pedestrian and car B. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. The pedestrian and car B. Explanation. Pedestrians have the right of way when they are about to, or already have, entered a crosswalk. Not all crosswalks have pavement markings, and not all crosswalks are on street corners. So here, the pedestrian has the right of way. Car B may proceed since it is not crossing the pedestrian's path. Number 4. You have parked facing down a steep hill. If your car is an automatic, you should leave your car in park. Which gear should you use if your car is a manual? A. First gear. B. Top gear. C. Reverse. D. Neutral. The correct answer is C. Reverse. Explanation. It is best to leave your car in park if you are driving an automatic. If it is a manual, choose a gear that will oppose the direction your car might roll. In this situation, you should leave your car in reverse gear. Number 5. Car B has entered an intersection to turn right on a red signal. Car A then arrives at a green signal. Which of the following is correct? A. Car B should stop and let car A through. B. Car A should speed up to pass car B. C. Car A must yield to car B, since car B is already in the intersection. D. None of the above are correct. The correct answer is C. Car A must yield to car B, since car B is already in the intersection. Explanation. You must yield to cars that are already in the intersection, even if you have a green light. Therefore, car A must yield to car B since car B has already entered the intersection. Number 6. Is this car legally parked? A. No, you cannot park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. B. No, you cannot park within 30 feet of a fire hydrant. C. Yes. D. Yes, as long as it is moved in 10 minutes. The correct answer is A. No, you cannot park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. Explanation. You cannot park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. Number 7. What does this sign mean? A. Divided highway ahead. B. Keep right. C. No right turn ahead. D. Mandatory right turn ahead. The correct answer is B. Keep right. Explanation. This sign tells drivers to stay to the right of an upcoming island or obstacle. Number 8. This car's turn and brake signals have failed, so the driver is using hand gestures to signal instead. What is the driver's intention? A. Slow down. B. Turn left. C. Turn right. 
D increase speed. The correct answer is B turn left. Explanation. The driver intends to turn left. Number 9. You have reached an intersection controlled by a stop sign. Where must you stop? A. Before the crosswalk. B. Before the stop line. C. Before entering the intersection. D. Before any of the above. The correct answer is D. Before any of the above. Explanation. When you arrive at an intersection controlled by a stop sign, you must stop before crossing the stop line or the crosswalk, or before entering the intersection. Number 10. You are turning a corner. No other cars are around. Do you still need to signal? A. No. B. Yes, but only briefly. C. Yes, long enough to convey your intentions to other road users, if any. D. Yes, for at least 100 feet. The correct answer is D. Yes, for at least 100 feet. Explanation. When turning a corner, you should signal for at least 100 feet. When you are merging on the freeway, you should signal for at least 5 seconds. You should even signal when there are no other cars around, because the car you can't see could be the most dangerous. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.